Today we will talk about iPhone 14, iPhone 13 Pro successor, that could be marketed as iPhone 14 Pro, will ditch the existing notch to feature a hole punch display design. According to a research note published by analyst Ming-Chi Kuo of TF Securities, Kuo has also predicted that the iPhone 13 Pro models, while preserving the notch design, will come with a 120Hz Pro motion display, the one that has so far been featured on the iPad Pro models. Kuo's latest series of predictions also talks about the iPhone SE 5G model plan for 2022, no favor for a USB Type-C iPhone model in the near future, and a foldable iPhone speculated for 2023. The note, as reported by, speculates that the iPhone 13 Pro successor will be Apple's main iPhone release to abandon the notch and adopt the hole punch display design. This could be similar to what has already been a part of many Android smartphones, including the latest Samsung Galaxy flagships. Apple may expand the hole punch display design across all its iPhone models after an initial adoption on the iPhone 13 Pro replacement ECA iPhone 14 Pro in 2022 depending on production yield. iPhone May 13 have up to 1TB internal storage, improved LiDAR sensors. In addition to the hole punch design, the iPhone 14 models are also expected to have an upgraded selfie camera at the front, with autofocus support. In a separate report, mentioned that Kyo's latest note also talks about Apple's plans to not bring USB Type-C iPhone models anytime in the near future. This is unlike the predictions about new iPhone models with a USB Type-C port that exist for quite some time. Apple may introduce a magnetic battery pack that charges iPhones wirelessly. We believe that USB-C is detrimental to the MFI business's profitability, and its waterproof specification is lower than Lightning and MagSafe, he said in the note as quoted by Apple Insider. Instead of going for a USB Type-C model, Kuo predicts that Apple may directly adopt the rumored portless design with MagSafe support. It is, however, also noted that since the MagSafe ecosystem that Apple introduced for its iPhone lineup just last year is yet to be matured, the company is likely to continue to use the Lightning port on its iPhone models in the foreseeable future. Kuo also predicted that Apple expected to integrate a Touch ID sensor into the power button of its new iPhone models. The comeback of Touch ID has been anticipated especially in the current times when people are wearing masks that's making it difficult for them to instantly unlock the iPhone using Face ID some recent reports also suggested in display Touch ID support on the next generation iPhone models. However, Apple may take some time to decide whether it's feasible to go for a technology that's already available on many Android phones nowadays. Interestingly, a USB Type-C design and a Touch ID integrated power button both are already available on recent iPad models. The analyst predicts that the iPhone 13 family, or simply the 2021 iPhone, would comprise four models just like the iPhone 12 models. There will be a thinner notch, and the Pro models are forecast to have 120Hz ProMotion display backed by an LPTO panel. The Pro models are also said to have an upgraded 6-piece ultra-wide camera with a white f1.8 aperture and autofocus support. This seems an update over the 6-piece f2.4 fixed-focus camera available on the iPhone 12. Kuo reportedly mentioned in his note that the 2021 iPhone models might be slightly heavier, due to the potential of featuring larger battery capacity. The new series is also likely to come with a space-saving design that would include an integrated SIM card slot and a thinner selfie camera module. In addition to claiming that the iPhone mini screen size is no more, Kuo detailed some impressive camera specs for the 2022 iPhones. He reports that the standard rear cameras on the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max will be upgraded to 48 megapixels, an increase from the 12 megapixel sensor in iPhone 12. As a reminder, Kuo expects four models of iPhone 14 in 2022, two 6.1-inch phones and two 6.7-inch phones. Like today, Apple would designate a 6.1-inch and 6.7-inch model as a high-end Pro option. Kuo seems confident that the 48-megapixel spec is only destined for the more expensive Pro models. It's not clear if the lower-end non-Pro 6.1-inch and 6.7-inch models would also see a jump in megapixels less than 48MP, or if the camera quality would improve in other ways. Kuo does not also discuss details of the 2 times zoom or ultra-wide lenses, suggesting the 48-megapixel upgrade is exclusive to the main wide camera. Although the sensor is 48 megapixels, it is possible that output images from the iPhone will still be 12 megapixels in resolution. Apple may opt to use a smart scaling algorithm that takes the raw 48-megapixel data and creates a 12-megapixel output image, with more detail and less noise. This is called 4-cell merge output mode and used today by some high-end Android phones. Moreover, 
the raw size of each pixel will increase to about 2.5M, significantly larger than the 1.7M pixels in iPhone 12. Bigger pixels means the phone can take in more light, reducing noise. The iPhone 13 later this year is expected to maintain 12 megapixel resolution but increase pixel size to 2M. Kuo believes the video camera system will also be upgraded for the iPhone 14. Supporting 8K recording for the first time 8K would be available on all four models of iPhone 14. So guys, this was all known information at the moment. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, like, subscribe, click to bell. Siri was with you.